Bacterial spot on tomato is one of the most damaging diseases of tomato in North Carolina, as you can see on this plant here. It spreads really well under humid conditions, of which we have no shortage of in the summer. Since we don't have any host resistance to bacterial spot, it's important to identify this disease early so you can implement strategies to minimize it. Bacterial spot is caused by different species in the genus Xanthomonas. Lesions can be found on leaves, stems, and fruit. On leaves, bacterial spot typically forms numerous small lesions less than an eighth of an inch in diameter, which quickly grow together and blight the leaf. Under wet conditions, such as in the morning or after a rain, water-soaked areas may be evident on the underside of the leaf. These spots may look wet or greasy. These spots are characteristic of bacterial spot. Also, the very edge or margin of the leaf may appear brown or purple in color, and this is also characteristic of bacterial spot. On the fruit, spots will appear small, less than an eighth of an inch in diameter, and will appear light brown and scabby. To differentiate this disease from other tomato diseases, look on the underside of the leaf during wet conditions, such as in the morning or after a rain. Water-soaked areas will be visible if you have bacterial spot. Water soaking is a symptom that may look wet or greasy. Other diseases of tomato don't have this symptom. Also, bacterial spot will have purplish to brown margins on the leaf. Bacterial speck is another bacterial disease on tomato, but it cannot be easily distinguished from bacterial spot, although spot is more common in our region. Bacterial canker will have leaf margins that look burnt and lack the spots. Early blight, caused by a fungus, will have larger dark brown lesions with concentric rings. Septoria and gray leaf spot, two other fungal diseases, will appear about the same size as bacterial spot, but these symptoms will not have the water soaking or purplish leaf margin. If you have access to a stereoscope or microscope, you may be able to visualize bacterial streaming. When you cut small leaf pieces that span the lesion and put them in a drop or two of water, after a few minutes, you will see a white milky ooze coming out of the affected tissue. And this will confirm that you have a bacterial disease as opposed to a fungal disease. Reach out to your local county extension agent for help and be sure to check out the disease fact sheet for more information on how to manage this disease. Thank you for watching.